So this is a print that I actually uh, stopped when I noticed that I was starting to have some under extrusion. Uh, you can see there on the layers that there's some gaps. So knew that something wasn't right and decided to stop the print and, uh, and do some investigating. One thing to look for is how the filament is extruding out of the nozzle and it should be coming straight down. Uh, which this actually uh, is. If there was a partial clog in the nozzle uh, right at the point where the filament's coming out of the nozzle, uh, it would have a uh, kink or, or a bend uh, to it and, and not be coming straight out. So th this doesn't look like I have a partial clog uh, in the nozzle right now. So if you listen, you can actually hear some clicking And that clicking's coming from the extruder. And the extruder gears are grinding on the filament, which isn't supposed to be happening. So while I was checking uh, the filament flow out of the nozzle for a clog, and even though I was here in the clicking with the extruder gear. Uh, I did try printing this model, and as you can see, it uh, has a lot of under extrusion, particularly as it uh, the model continued on uh, to the point where I, I did stop it uh, here at the top. Uh, it, it just wasn't even filling in the filament uh, at all. And now I have a completely messy um, extruder uh, that has a lot of ground filament uh, all over it, so I'm gonna have to take that apart and clean that up um, before I try uh, printing again now. And you can even see the uh, dust from the ground filament uh, on the spool uh, of filament there and all over the back of the machine that I have to vacuum and, and sweep this up. Uh, it just made a mess because I obviously let this go a, a lot longer than I should have. I mean, this. Micro Swiss uh, dual gear extruder has uh, worked really well for a long time for me uh, on the Inner 5 Plus, and I, I just can't believe I let it get uh, uh, all ground up with filament like that. And here on the uh, filament, you can see where the extruder gears were grinding into it, so you, the filament still wrapped around the spool is all. Um, pristine as it should be uh, and and then the section that was uh, had went through the extruder and, and gotten uh, chewed up a bit by the gears. So what I'm going to try next is uh, to clean out the nozzle using this uh, nozzle cleaner needle. Uh, it's a 0.4 millimeter. I've got a 0.6 millimeter nozzle in the machine right now. So the 0.4 will definitely fit and let me uh, scrape around in there a bit to try to clear out uh, any stuck uh, filament. I've got the hot end heated up and even though I unloaded uh, the filament, uh, there was a bit you could see there that had leaked out the end that had still been up in the hot end. And now we can get the needle, nozzle cleaning needle up into the nozzle and see if that can pull pull out or, or push through any clog that might be up in there. Next step is to put through some cleaning filament. Uh, this is from 3D Maker Engineering and it has uh, some abrasives that uh, help clean the PTFE tube and the nozzle. Um, so just need a couple inches uh, section uh, to be able to run through, uh, load up like any other filament and, and then put a new filament through uh, after it to, to push it through. So I've got the cleaning filament loaded. It should be starting to come out any moment. There it is. And even after having unloaded uh, the filament, that was uh, under extruding using the cleaning needle uh, up in the nozzle. 
uh, you can see there what first came out after the cleaning filament what was a bunch of uh, the, the black filament that I had loaded up before. So there was definitely still remnant, a lot of remnant filament uh, in there that now the cleaning filament has pushed through and, and helped uh, clear out. So I'll keep this extruding to run the whole uh, length of the cleaning filament uh, through the tube and nozzle and get it all clear uh, until the uh, the new filaments coming through the the back end which we should be getting close to that before long here and there we go so we've got the new filament coming through so we've run a full section of the cleaning filament and and, and got new filament loaded uh, through the tube and into the hot end now well the nozzle and the Bowden tube are definitely a little bit cleaner now after running the cleaning filament through, so I'll uh, try another print and see if I'm still having uh, under extrusion and having the extruder gears grinding on, on the filament. So I'll post an update video later on.